So Tammy has worked at UCM since 2004, so I believe that would be her 18th season um, here at the university, so long time. She's seen a lot, she's been through a lot here. The easiest way to tell Molly and Tammy apart is actually their color. Um, their size is vastly different, but if they're not standing directly next to each other, their color is the easiest. I like to tell the kids that Molly has the black tail and Tammy has an orange color of tail. Well, the transition with Molly and Tammy not being together at a game and, and Molly having to take on all these different things by herself is actually quite the elaborate task and my main job here. Tammy has been a key component in teaching Molly how to handle all of the things that they don't see here on the farm. Um, so any of the cannons, all the people, the marching band, heaven forbid, the umbrellas, you know, all that kind of thing. So um, Tammy's been really building Molly's confidence, saying, hey, Molly, this isn't, this isn't going to be scary. So now we slowly separate them and just see kind of how um, the writer and Molly can trust each other and work through it. Yes, okay, so the mules are pretty different. Molly is a freaking big cuddle bug. She just wants to sit in your lap. She's like the giant puppy. And she is pretty giant, but that she doesn't let that stop her at all. She just wants to be cuddled all the time. And her favorite spot to be cuddled is like on right on her butt. She likes to be scratched right there on the top. So if you ever do it, or if she's ever standing there, she'll like push her butt to the side, like, come on, keep going. And then Tammy is, she's like the tough guy. She's like, oh, I want the love. She loves the attention, but she doesn't really want to admit it. She's like, oh, yes, please give me attention. But like, I don't, I don't want you to see that I want the attention. And so when people go to pet her, she's like, yes, love me. But then, oh, I don't know if I want that. Tammy and Molly got their names um, actually in different ways. So Tammy got hers at birth. So whenever she um, came out at Paradise Mules, which is the place that we got her from, uh, they decided to name her Tammy. Whenever she came to the university, she was bought um, by a disc jockey called Man Cow in the Morning, and he donated her to UCM. So um, he got to name her whatever he wanted. So naturally, he named her Man Cow. So we call her Man Cow and Tammy both. So, and then Molly, I actually got the privilege of naming Molly um, before she came to the university. Her name was Sugar, which was obviously a super sweet name and whatnot, but um, Molly is a female mule and so it really reflects, you know, what she is and it also has, you know, M-O for Missouri and Molly and Mo kind of goes together. Technically, the terminology for a uh, female mule is a Molly. Um, actually, a Jenny is technically a female donkey. So <laughs> a mule is also not a male mule. A mule is just whenever you mix a female horse and a male donkey together, they create a mule. And a male mule is called a John mule, and a female mule is called a Molly mule. Okay, maybe, she'll st maybe she'll stand here. <laughs> well, since Tammy is retiring, Molly, you can see, is very excited. We've been taking her to some games and practices and events by herself to kind of get her used to being by herself and not with Tammy. But I think she's doing really good, and we're excited to have her by herself next year. She likes to eat. She likes it when we come out and ride her, and we turn around with the cows, so she likes being out there with them and just running around, hanging out. The crowd gets to see a lot, and when we're at the game, they get to see everything we work so hard to do in the public eye. And then, but whenever we're not at a football game, we're not at a special appearance for um, being an ambassador of the university or anything like that, we're actually here working on the farm with the cattle. And so it's a full-time um, cattle farm. And so we help with the mules, and they've, I mean, that's their part-time job. At the, at the university, that's their part-time, and they work cattle full-time, so. It's really cool. It's, it's fun to see how versatile the team can be. So game day is usually really fun. If it's like family weekend or homecoming, we'll come out the night before and we'll ride the mules for like 15, 20 minutes just to see how they're feeling and make sure that they're okay and they're safe for the game. And then we'll take them and we'll bathe them down real quick and scrub them, make sure they're nice and clean and they smell really good for everybody. And then we'll like pre-paint. So usually we come up with like a theme and like if it's homecoming or get the red out, we'll try and paint something that matches and then the next day we'll come out. And it's usually like a 13 hour day. So we try to get here as early as possible, which is like, 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. It's pretty early and we'll finish up the nice shiny colors of paint and we'll get going off to the game. But it's it's a long day and the mules, they, they deal with us pretty well because I mean, there's like four of us running around poking at them and they're just like, 
this is great. We get all the attention, you know, they love, they love all the treats they get from standing still so well and then all the scratches and everything. So they really enjoy it. So Molly and Tammy actually celebrate their birthdays in the same month. Um, Molly was born on April the 12th in 2009. And Tammy was born April the 26th in 1996. One thing that I wish the crowd could see about the meals on the farm is probably the difference in personalities. Like you get a lot of it from the football games of how Molly looks around and you know Tammy's really focused, but that's more of kind of like an age thing. I would like for people to be able to see that Tammy is more laid back, more chill. She's very, oh, it's whatever, you know, we can do whatever you guys would like. And Molly's like, let's run, let's, let's go have some fun. They're very different and I would like people to come out and be able to see them and be like, wow, these guys are, they're completely different off. Tammy's time as a live mascot has been very fun. She's worked here since 2004, and it's a huge honor to be able to continue the line and ride Tammy for her last season. So they do not dislike any foods. They like all foods. If you feed them too many peppermints, they'll stop eating them. We found out last year during a live stream, they were donating and feeding peppermints and they loved them. And then after about 40, I think they started spitting them out. So, but yeah, they love all food. 40 is the limit. 40 is the limit. <laughs>